All right, back again with a little market profile. This time on everybody's darling, the United States' largest market cap company in, in the public markets, Apple Computers. So Apple has come out with a new iPad, not one, not two, uh, but just the iPad. Uh, high def, great new product. Um, however, let's take a look at the charts, see what the charts are telling us. We're going to start here on the right-hand side. The 15-minute is right now telling us trend, obviously up, hitting all-time highs today, 554. That's all-time highs. Um, the one thing that's going to concern me, and I'm going to switch here on this chart to a daily, uh, there's a number of things that concern me. If, you're, if you haven't been involved and haven't been long Apple since at least 425, you're definitely late to the party. That being said, it can definitely go higher. How high? I have no idea. So uh, that's a loaded question, and uh, the answer I do not have. But I will say I've never seen a stock with a market cap, obviously, as large as this one, stay overbought now for as long as this one. We've been overbought now for uh, two solid months, and by overbought, just simple RSI. Started coming over the 70s here early um, January, in the beginning of the year, when the stock was trading at 425, and we proceeded to trade up 125 points, or around 25%. So it's a monster move, point-wise 125 points, but 25% uh, is also monstrous just with the market cap that uh, the company continues to grow. So we're sitting here, and I see two things happening. I'm going to bring up the RSI on a daily. We hit a peak of 88 uh, here. Uh, that was on the 14th, and then we uh, the second peak was 85, and we have divergence, meaning a lower high in the RSI and another high in price. So that was a higher high in price, but a lower RSI. And we're having it happen again as we break out to new highs today at 554, but yet the RSI still going up, but looking like it's not going to get anywhere near this. So uh, as a trader, these divergences are warning signs, and uh, you really need to take a look at this. If you've been long Apple for any period of time, by all means, don't feel ashamed take some profits, you can always buy the, back, the stock back lower, or you can buy it back cheaper. But here's the line, you see that RSI, again, just kind of uh, beginning to look a little weak here, and uh, I, unless that breaks out, which again, RSI can only go to 100, so it's getting a little long in the tooth. So let's look at this a little bit closer on the left-hand side, we've got the 30-minute and the market profile. The point of contention right now is right around that 544. And again, we were battling around there, hanging around there, even in the, in, into the end of uh, last week. That's really where we closed. And then today we uh, rocketed up and uh, traded up another 10 points. So this 1044 is your first magnet. Uh, we're definitely uh, beyond that. But uh, anytime you get above these point of contentions, it's dangerous to be chasing price. So 533 on the 30, 544, these are your key areas. Let's take it back a little bit further. This is always a good exercise. Again, 544 on the hourly chart as we're breaking new highs. All good, right? 535, you can see some contention there. 515, uh, 503, 495, less and less as we go down. This is what they call kind of a P-shaping profile, uh, which tends to be prices toppy. Uh, it's a dangerous pattern to be chasing when it comes to the market profile. So let's keep that in mind as we pull back further. The four-hour chart, which is taking us back until um, uh, the 350 level, which again was just in, you can believe this, on the four-hour chart, this was back in, in uh, December, mid-December. We were trading $355, so we're up 200 bucks. Uh, nearly 70-80% uh, in that three months. Just a crazy move. Everybody and their mother is long the stock. And when everybody and their mother is long or short, it's always a dangerous position to be chasing. And this is the thing I want to point out right in here that really has me concerned. And if you're not taking profits here, uh, you know, again, that's pure greed. Because this in here, this profile, I'm going to take this off because it's uh, too dark. You can see the real meat of this move happens down here in the 400 level. And this is just a three month chart. Here we are at 550. I'm not saying we're going to go back to 390 tomorrow, but there's a number of situations where that would have me concerned. There's not a lot of real buyers. This is momentum, short term traders that are chasing this in here. We break 520, 480's next, we break 480. This can happen very quickly. So don't get ahead of yourself in thinking this is going to go to 1000 tomorrow. It could. Uh, but I highly doubt it. On the daily chart, you see it even clearer. There's gaps. There's gaps in the profile. 
We have a gap down here all the way down to 430. Do you want to be long one day when there's some news out there that, uh, you know, just who knows what the news I can't even imagine what it would be, but this is the sign of a parabolic toppy profile. Forget about the, you know, it's just the profile is telling us where the holders of the stock are. The majority of them are still down here, so we tend to gravitate towards where the power is. On the weekly, it becomes even more prevalent. Um, again, 340, 250, there's a lot of areas down in here. This has just gone to the moon and on the monthly, insane. Just absolutely, almost almost inverted on this chart, on the profile. So be careful up in here. Can we go to 600? Sure. Can we go to 6550? Sure. Anything is possible. But this profile is just going to get more and more string-like as we go to the top. And where there are fumes doesn't necessarily mean that, uh, you know, this, this to me is a classic blow-off top looking chart, especially on the monthly. Again, we're not trading monthly charts, but you need to be aware of the, 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 the longer-term pictures here as you're looking at these uh, positions on the mar market profile. Um, again, if you could buy this thing in the three to 350, well, what a great buy that would be. It'd probably be a gift. I don't know if we'll see that in the near, near term, but I guess in the, in the long term, we'll, we'll end up trading back into this area. Uh, over the next few years, uh, but keep this in mind as you're as you're playing even on the daily chart. Again, this is this is fumes fumigated, and when there is smoke, the floor can fall out quickly. So keep this in mind uh, that especially if you know these areas 520, 540, 480 fall, boom, we can go real quick down 20 percent. 20 percent is not a big move; it's 100 points, and uh, we'd still be in a bull market in the stock. Stock. So. Apple, my friends, enjoy the ride, but make sure you've got protection. Make sure you're buying some cheap puts if you're going to hold on to that stock. No reason to get greedy up in here. This thing is gone parabolic and is in big danger zone. Peace.